So we've got everything bust out and prepared to sound replace. Uh, so let's go ahead and sound replace. First thing we're going to want to do is create an instrument track where we're going to put the replaced MIDI uh, information, the replacement MIDI information. Uh, so I'm going to create a stereo instrument track. And uh, I'm going to, since it's going to be the toms, um, um, replacement. Uh, let's see. I'll I'll do. Uh, actually, this will be Tom two replacement. And then uh, let's go ahead and just duplicate that stereo track, and I'll call that Tom one replacement. And we'll stick Tom two up under Tom two, and Tom one is going to be under Tom one. And then let's uh, command click on both toms and then we shift option click and we'll send them both out, both out to bus 19 and 20 and that way everything that's going to be tom there with the toms is going out to bus 19 and 20 um, and then to the to the drum bus the main drum bus so toms are all here now let's uh, command click the tom solo button so now if we solo anything it'll go through the toms and the drums bus is already soloed so good all right let's take a listen to the original floor tom here and you might notice something interesting okay it sounds horrible right <laughs> well when we were recording i knew that we were going to be using replacement because to be completely honest with you re we recorded this record in our practice space um, in oakland california and it's this little room if you watch the video for beggar that that is our practice studio and it's not really a studio <laughs> we just uh recorded the drums in there and like i said we used one overhead and i knew that just based on the space and the mics we had and everything that there was going to definitely be some blending but we of course wanted to capture the performance of ian the drummer his his drumming technique so i knew there would be replacement so when i went through and i cleaned the toms which you can watch the video on cleaning toms uh i, I recommend cleaning them and not gating them but uh, when I went through and cleaned them, I wasn't really too worried about getting really good fading with them and making them sound really nice by themselves because as this is a special situation and sometimes those happen, I knew I was going to be completely replacing the toms. So they are completely replaced in the in the final mix here if we take a listen uh, to this part. I'm always believing what they tell me Can't shake a monster that you can't see so that's a replaced tom completely and uh when you listen to the original you can see why i wanted to replace it it just sounds bad but the thing is even though we're replacing the actual tom mic from the tom source we're still getting tom that's going through the uh, overheads and stuff see if i mute it you can hear the attack from the tom still so that's coming through in the mix. So his actual playing is coming through. It's just uh, the actual tom source we're going to replace. So I clean the tom out so I just have the tom hits. And uh, I did that throughout the whole song. Made sure it's all clean and clear. And then what we want to do is use a replacement tool and get those hits uh, triggered so that we can uh, replace them. Um, so we use a plugin you can buy from MasseyPlugins.com and it's called the Massey DRT and it's in the Audio Suite instrument area. Now I use this plugin for my replacement exclusively. Um, it's an excellent plugin for replacing s drum hits. I've tried Sound Replacer from Avid. It's just not very versatile and it replaces, you can only have up to three samples which is not going to work for me. Um, I needed to use something that was going to give me a very wide range of uh, sample uh, samples to, to pull from. Um, and with MIDI and virtual instruments, the options are pretty much limitless now. Um, so I use this, and uh, let's let's see how we use this thing. We're gonna we're gonna double click on the. Uh, we've got the multi tool selected, so we can use the grabber, uh, the selection tool, or the trimmer. And if if you hold it halfway down the the wave, you'll you'll select the whole clip halfway up, and you'll you'll select regions, and then uh, it's also got the fade tool on it, so you can just fade from the bottom. And if you um, say you separate 
waves by or clips by B hitting B, you can you can um, then crossfade uh, by going to the bottom. But anyway, um, we're gonna double click on the top half, select the whole region, and then go into our Massey DRT and hit analyze. It's as simple as that, and it analyzes all the tom hits. And let's quickly highlight in and just get like in here a little bit. Now, as you can see, it's just, <laughs> it's just triggering everything. I mean, we know for a fact it's doom, 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 doom. So we need to get rid of all these other triggers because it's triggering everything right now. And the easy way to do that is to look down here at this bottom screen and you can see that all this stuff that's like lightly colored is what we don't want, lightly colored, and the stuff that's darker is what we do want. So as far as loudness, we're going to bring that down and starts getting rid of stuff, which is good. Getting rid of most of it here. Okay, we got rid of most of it, and then we're also going to bring the sensitivity down. And uh, that looks pretty good right there. We've got all the tom hits selected and, and uh, nothing else. Now say this was a tom hit and it wasn't getting it, but if I brought up the loudness enough and to get it, you'd have to get a bunch of other stuff. Um, you can simply just hover over and hit the plus sign, which is amazing. Then you can hover at the top and change the velocity or whatever you want. It's it's really, and you can just minus by getting rid of it. It's really a versatile plugin. So see, double click there, I've got everything selected. It looks like I'm missing a few, so what we're going to go do right now is uh, go through and just make sure we've got everything. So I'm going to highlight this area. Looks like we're missing a couple here. Um, yeah, so let's just go ahead and put them in. And got those three, good. Looks like we're missing one right here. And then there's two here. And like I said, you can play with the sensitivity and loudness, but I like to go in there and just make sure it doesn't take that long. And that one it got. Okay, so that's all the toms. It's got them all. We're all selected. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of variation of velocity. And with tom hits, unless it's a part like the bridge, uh, with in which tom 2 isn't really doing much anyway, tom 1 will want to pay more attention to. But... Um, we're on the floor tom right now, and since the floor tom generally you're looking at pretty hard hits, so I'm going to bring the averages of the velocity down. So as you can see, they kind of level out here. And now I'm going to bring the hardness of the velocity up pretty much to the top. Beautiful. Okay, now I need to know what tom hit is the floor tom on my virtual instrument. And on my virtual instrument, C is kick, uh, D is snare. And then E is also a snare. It's a different snare. And then F is my floor tom. So I want to go to F. Uh, F1, by the way. And then it's as simple as this. Check this out. I'm going to make sure I'm in minutes and seconds because the DRT doesn't like to mess around with, uh, with the bars, the grid. Um, okay, and then I'm going to hit MIDI, drag and drop. I'm going to hold it and drag it up to the tom2 replacement midi track make sure it's up against the front of the timeline and look at that we have midi notes ready to go so yeah we're looking good we got all our toms we got we got the midi notes now we need to uh we need to make them audible Liar, with a cute face, little tear, in the